What's up, everybody? Welcome to another vintage cube draft with all the vintage cards removed and replaced with modern cube cards. No other way whatsoever. That's right. To be fair, friend, Chris brought me to you. Can't take credit for that one. Yes, I can. You're watching it happen right now. So that's a weird thing to say. Thank you. <clears throat> Magic banding. Thank you for the resub. Welcome back. I appreciate you. Do 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 well, <coughs> did you remember to wake him up? Him being Green Day? Oh uh, no, I'm talking about Billy Joe, obviously. You know the good Billy Joe from Green Day. So you guys are watching on YouTube. You got to wait for like a minute and a half for this cue to fire. Team J Bro with a. 23 trophy lead over the next person. <laughs> kind of, uh, kind of unrealistic. Wait, which song is about his dad dying? Because I think we just brought up like three different, uh, Green Day songs. So when September Ends? Oh, the YouTube people can fast forward. I guess that's true. YouTube people. And if you're not fast forwarding, well, that's on you. Alright, welcome back. We did pause the video and restart it when it fired, which wasn't too long. I hate this Soren. If this is the other four mana Soren that gave all your creatures lifelink and could return a guy from the graveyard, I, I would 100% take that Soren. <clears throat> How does he have 38 trophies? I literally don't know. I, I don't understand it either. I think it might just be the bribery this time. Like, we've, we've, we've danced around taking bribery every single time. And now I'm just kind of thinking, maybe we just take the bribery. I also got something in the mail today. I'll show you guys, because I think it's cool enough to show you guys. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, though. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a little... It's a little Hulk 181. It looks weird because of the green screen, but... It's not a shark tooth yet. I'm going to take bribery. <clears throat> Let's bribery here and see what happens. Oh, Coalition Relic? I don't think we've gotten Coalition Relic once in this cube. Oh no, it's just a boring comic. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we're definitely taking Coalition Relic. I hope this Triumph comes back just because I like it, but it's not blue, so I maybe mean, I don't care. Oh, do we just Niv Mizzet Reborn? That seems good, right? <clears throat> Wake me up. Wake me up. I kind of like niv more than anything else in this pack. I don't know what that says. I think Karn is fine. But I mean, like, I think we've had the most fun and even success playing niv -Mizzet. Ravenous Choops is good. Maelstrom Pulse is nice with Niv Mizzet. I think Chupacabra and Inferno Titan might be a little stronger. Maybe, actually, maybe not. Maybe Maelstrom Pulse is just great because it hits um, <clears throat> Planeswalkers. And it's a hit off Niv Mizzet. I think it's got to be Maelstrom Pulse here. I think Inferno Titan's fantastic. But I want to make our deck work. Oh, a Clothis? And it's a card we can hit off the Mizzet? For sure, dude. Do you guys call him Niv Mizzut? Look, you like the way I arrange this? Three drop, five drop, five drop, three drop, three drop. You like the, the random organization I have going on here? Oh, I didn't explain it. I, I really didn't explain it properly, what we were looking at a second ago, so... Hmm... 
So basically, this is the Incredible Hulk 181. This is the first appearance of Wolverine. <clears throat> In case you guys didn't know. I should say first full appearance of Wolverine. Uh, it's only a 5.5. And I picked it up because it looks much better than a 5.5. And I was hoping to get it pressed and cleaned and regraded. And hopefully it would come back something better. But looking at it more, I'm not entirely sure that it would. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not entirely sure that I get a better grade. So, I am tempted to just not keep this one and get a different one. Um, let's start picking red main cost so we can get a better idea of what's going on here. Might just be fine finality. It's actually pretty decent. It keeps Niv Mizzet alive. We can hit it off the thing. It's kind of like a languish. I feel like Clifftop Retreat's probably correct here. <clears throat> Like, we have red cards, we have white cards. Whatever. Thank you. Um, there are no signets in this cube. Oh, Dragosi, what up, Alan? Good seeing you, buddy. Would you ever read that comic? If it's in a... If it's graded? No, I'm not going to read any graded comic books. Uh, for one, I... Uh, I like Night of... I like Night of the Reliquary. And by Night of the Reliquary, I mean Night of Autumn. I'm not super sold on either of these lands. I'm going to take the knight. Thank you. Definitely, Foxy. Thank you. I appreciate the resub. You're speaking my language. <laughs> Dear God. I'm going to take Lightning Helix. Now we're just erring on the side of these. Look, and we can cast it right off Clifftop Retreaties. I don't care about this because we do have knight. Um... Marshall Coup is actually probably fine for this deck. We're going to have a bunch of mana, so... Sure, we'll Coup. Eh, I don't love Olivia, but I don't care about any of these Thank other cards you. either. And we can hit Olivia off of... Whatever. Shanala with the resub. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate you guys. <clears throat> so anyway, looking at it more, I'm not sure the defects that caused it to be a 5.5 are... Fixable. So, <coughs> we'll see. Standard B, thanks for saying so, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm just going to take all the cards that we can hit with the Mizzet, so. And we're just going to take... <clears throat> we already have 12 cards, so we're just going to take all the lands. And all the fixing. Chris, your updated Facebook avatar is actually the best. <coughs> wow, title of scholar too, huh? Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the the thirteen cards can be hit by Niv Mizzet, and one of them is Niv Mizzet. So nine of the tw nine of twelve, the only cards that can't be hit are Coalition or like Bribery and Marshall Coup. And Tristani can also be it now? Okay. Shut up and take my money. Okay. <clears throat> One Phantom Dingbuck. You're a Phantom Dingbuck. <laughs> Got him. I, I really want Dragonlord Selengar here, but I think the Triome is way more important. I also wouldn't mind taking another Gargaroth. Single color, but strong. I'm going to take the Triome, and I don't think it's... I don't think it's that close. Kurt was all like... And I was like, dang. Brutal. <clears throat> none of these none of these cards are very good, I'll be honest. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, mm hmm. Not a fixing land. Cultivate could be fine, actually. Streamer bully. I got bullied. What? <clears throat> Oh my god, grabbing Tristani with bribery is actually the most hilarious thing you can do. And for those who don't know, Tristani says at the beginning of your end step, each player gains control of all the creatures they own. So that dude got his, Oral got his Tristani back. Which is pretty cool. If you ask me. Ooh, Sulfur, Rupan, or Glacial? Um, sort by color. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work the way we wanted it to. 
Um. Shut up and take my money. Oh, Phantom Dingbuck. That's gonna be got him for me, dog. Ha! <laughs> got him. <laughs> oh lord. We have a lot of white. We have a lot of green. Probably Rootbound Craig. I mean, I hope the other one comes back. Uh, I think... Oh, oh, Chromatic Lantern, though. Shoot. Shooty McMoody. Let me see that Niv Mizzuti. What, what is your comic... What are your comic collection? Movies? This would be one of them, for sure. Um... I have Fantastic Four 5, which is literally, like, my prized possession. That's the first appearance of Doctor Doom. It's gotta be Lantern, right? I don't like it. I, I want to take one of these lands, but I have a feeling there's... I think we're gonna get, like, four more lands in this pack. That's my bet. That's my bet. Uh, actually, a lot of my comics are actually getting re repressed and graded. Um... So hopefully they come back better than they did. I'm going to take Dream Trawler for sure. This is the perfect deck for a Dream Trawler. I don't care about these. These are the worst lands, I think. The best lands are ones that interact with lands with types. Uh, because they, they not only come into play untapped. <clears throat> if they're shock lands, you can search for them with fetch lands. And uh, these interact with types and they, can, they come into play untapped. I think those are very important. I like Huntmaster. I also like Stirring Wildwood. And I think we're getting... I think Crassus is the least likely thing I would take. I think Garrick Apex Predator and Huntmaster are both very, very good. Which is kind of... I mean, just because this guy's cheaper. And it looks like we're kind of Nio with Dope Blue. <laughs> we're very minimal black here so far. <sighs> I kind of want the Creature Land, though. Yeah, I think we could take this and maybe one of those comes back. I think Kodama's... Re Actually, it might be Roast. Like, having some nice early interactions, nice. Yeah, I'll take the Roast. Plus, we already have Cultivate, so... I'm not going to take Cultivate and Kodama's Reach. I don't even know if we're going to have that many, uh... Basics. Okay, I said four more lands. <clears throat> so far, we have three more to go. I don't think it's... It's not looking good. Take a Naturist. Sure. But all of our lands are Naya. So that does kind of facilitate our... We're mostly Naya strategy. Also, our deck is looking pretty, pretty good right now. So I'm not like... I really just don't care about Tide Hollow Skuller at all. So what I was going to say is we're not like super committed to taking a bunch of playables in pack 3. We can just take most of the lands if we really need to. Random ding. Also I have my windows open because it's like 54 degrees outside or something. It's pretty bananas. It is currently 54 and it's super nice. Atris firm where it's easy. To get some cards from it. <clears throat> not the best. Not my best work. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. We could have taken Felidar because there's a chance we could see Saheeli, but... I think the combo is a lot weaker when you have to have two very specific pieces. As opposed to having, like... Multiple pieces when you have like Splinter Twin, Kiki Jiki, Pestermite, Deceiver Exarch, Zealous Conscripts, you know, Restoration Angel. Like, all right, sure. I mean, the Hydroid Crassus might come back at this rate. I mean, is Resto good? It blinks Dragon Lord, blinks Trustani, blinks Atris, blinks Night of Autumn. I think it's actually Resto. Like, we can take a. Re oh, Sulfur Falls came back. I'm super grateful for that. Raging Ravine came... Oh, here's the Sahili we were talking about. Nope, that's not actually. This is the this is the worst one that I don't even think should be in this cube, to be honest with you. Wow, all these lands coming back is actually phenomenal. <clears throat> that's insane. Gem is actually not terrible. Wow, that was... Wait, how many lands did we say? Did we get Sulphur Falls, Raging Ravine, and Copperline Gorge on the wheel? So we... 
So we did get the four. We got stirring. Wow, that's amazing. Sometimes I'm better than I think I am. Oh, if it isn't old Nicholas. Old Saint Nicholas. Nick, let me ask you something. How many jokes did kids make? That had to do with... That had to do with Nicholas. Because I feel like if you if your name is Nick, it's got to be all the time, right? Yeah, it's either breeding pool, just you. No, you know, I don't think so, buddy. Also, I didn't make any jokes, to be fair. I just asked you about them. I referenced them in my question, but uh, none none would ever ask that. Wait, what? none would ever ask that? I, did, I never asked any. I never made any jokes. You know what? Forget it. Forget I said anything. Can we do Karanos and Clothis again? Every time you visit me, I don't think I've ever called you Dickless. <laughs> don't you tell people that. I think we're... Oh, God. I'm taking this. I can't resist. <gasps> triome. I'm going to triome this for some... Oh, Teferi too, though, guys. It's going to be the triome. Especially if we get a fetch or two. Oh, Galda Shrine? Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. I'm not even like... I'm, I'm barely looking at these packs. I'm barely even looking. Chris, remember that time I couldn't... I was talking about oogling the boogle? Oogling the bogle? So this is a forest, so it does turn this on. And Rogan Trime is a plains, right? So it does turn this on as well. Wow, that, that pack passed so quickly that I didn't even notice it was a new pack. I was like, oh, oh. Fallen Shinobi. With Resto and Atrus? That seems fine, actually. I'll take it. <coughs> What's a death butt? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? I only popped in to let you know the death nut just arrived. Oh, man. Nick, are, we, when, are you coming to visit, Nick? I think Kerwit and, and Michael B. are going to do a, a challenge when Kerwit comes and visits. I mean, not right now. Well, like later, though. Like this weekend, right? There's also definitely cards you don't care about, like Olivia and Aurelia. Like, eh, they're fine to cut. I'm not super... I could see bringing in Gem Razor if I really wanted to. Eh, I don't think it's... We got one, two, three. It's probably easier to count these. We have ten lands. I like a Chandra. I like a Questing Beast. I think it's just still more important to fix our mana base here. We got white, 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 white. Five white sources. Blue sources. Red sources are we're good on. I think it's the one if you roll for the blue. We have one, like two blue sources here. Yeah, I think it's fumeral. If isolated chapel comes back as like one of the last picks, that'd be bananas. I haven't seen like a single friggin' fetch land, man. There's a sea hilly. <laughs> you always get it. No one ever wants that. I want to take creeping tarpet. I think it's just a really good one. There are a lot of lands that are coming to play tapped right now, which is not my favorite, but... Also, these Noah Bradley arts are also not my favorite, but... I'm taking Xenagos. <clears throat> I think Pyroclasm's probably fine. <laughs> that clip is still funny, I agree with you. Oh, man. Take this guy. Oh, Sacred Foundry is nice. Teferi's also nice. Teferi's almost too nice. It lets us not get countered. Yeah, I'm taking the Teferi. Kitchen Finks is fine. That's a dude that'll that'll hit us up. Red Cap? Also a dude. Sure. All these guys are gold cards. Uh Shiv and Fire. Meh. We'll take it, but meh. Selfless Spirit. 
Come on, isolated chapel one time. Heading out of here, just want to stop by for a few and drop set. Jergo Seattle, I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Have a great night, my dude. <clears throat> I think our mana base is good. I would have liked to fetch land, because now we're just kind of at the mercy of like whatever we draw. We do have Cultivate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13. This is a lot of lands. Yeah, that's a lot of lands. Also, we got a lot of creature lands. Lands that come into play tapped all the time are pretty rough. Wow, we have like six creature lands. Five. Wow, that's insane. Seven lands will always come into play tapped. Too many person lands. Oh, boy. I think our deck looks sweet, though. We have to make a cut. Um, I like Fallen Shadow in the 4-drop slot. Teferi seems great. Uh, I think we can't cut a 3-drop, just to... All three of these are removal spells as well, which is kind of nice. I think it's probably our Olivia. I think Aurelia, really, I don't love Aurelia, but it's, I mean, it still hits for, for Fallen Shinobi. And um, I think it's it's definitely more resilient. She's definitely more resilient than the 3-3, so. Whereas I think everything else is pretty good. And I, I really like Martial Coup for its ability to clear the board. Xenagos kind of like ramps us a little bit, so. Plus, like, black is one of our lower represented colors. <clears throat> Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm dreading looking at this analysis here. Wow, so surprisingly, white-blue is the highest represented, with red coming in third. Okay. Okie dokie. Alright, so... Let's... Let's bring in all the white sources here. Uh, Rogren Stirring. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll add one white. <clears throat> okay, seems good. Seven white sources seems pretty good. Blue, we don't have any blue sources here. Actually, Triome is blue. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we just have one island. Six. It's rough because we have two double blue spells. <clears throat> but we also have Chromatic Lantern and Coalition Relic, let's not forget. And Cultivate, so. Uh, red, we have eight, so we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we just want one of each land just to be able to cultivate into them. Black, we have one, two, three, four. Hmm. Not ideal, but again, like with Chromatic Lantern, Cultivate, and Coalition Relic, it's still closer to seven. Green, I think we have enough. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And green only have seven seven symbols, so I mean I think that's I think it's fine. We also get one more, which I'd love I'd love the overgrown to. A black green would be great here, or a blue something blue breeding pool would have been great. Yeah, I mean it's a Karenos, so I'm not gonna be too upset by it. Maybe we just put another basic in. Actually, one two three four five. It might just be another island. <laughs> Because you have two double blue cards, and blue is the second highest represented color in the deck with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 blue sources.
green and red. So red, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven red is looking great for being the fourth. Actually, red's the third most represented color, so I feel okay about that. Black, we have one, two, three, four. Only four for black. But I'm gonna have five black cards too, so that's okay. White, we have plenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven. And green, we have like five, I think. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Nick, have a good night, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Yeah, I think we just probably want like a copper line gorge. It's probably better than another just forest. And it does come into play on the turns we need it. Yeah, let's do it like this. All right. Do you have anything to search for? No, just cultivate. Okay. <laughs> Actually, should have a quote, but yeah, like the um, yeah, like the meme. I don't even know what show that's from, to be honest with you. Let's do it to it. I like having power clasm, shivering fire, and kitchen finks in the sideboard. Not too many planeswalkers though. Like, what do we just have? Just up? Is this like Xenagos and Tepery? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, Karanos and Clothis are very similar to planeswalkers. I mean, I'll definitely keep this and hope I can draw either a plains or a forest. But we can still go like wandering into Sun Petal into Swamp Clothis, which is pretty decent. Oh, look at that. Goosey. Goosey Watusi. Well, we have double blue and double white now. Uh, wanting to play Clothis next. We can also just... Is it charm this? Is that smart? Because it sets us back quite a bit. We go island. Is it charm? We'd have to draw a green source. That comes into play untapped. I think it's, I think it's good. I think it's... Clothis isn't doing much right now because there's nothing in any graveyard anyway, so I think we'll be okay. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Wow. Beautiful. Math lady, confused lady. <laughs> I think Hunter just twitched in his sleep and made a big, big noise. Thrun entered the revealed zone. Okay, so you kept Thrun. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I'll just play this. Because this can still come into play at some point. Like, next time we can just bribery. One, two... Three, four, they have six mana. Is it Primeval Titan? I very rarely see... <laughs> you fucking... What a fucking scumbag. Oh, that's really frustrating. Yep. I 
I mean, the funny thing is if they crack a land, we can still bribery this turn, but I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're just going to play Thrun. Oh. Well. That's nice. Yep. Now we know where we're drawing this, so... Oh, boy. It's good times. Four, eight, nine. Go to four. Sure. Not sure what we can bribery here to save ourselves. But, might as well try. Rex Sage, Thrag Tusk. That doesn't block here. We take four, five, six, seven, eight, but we're at nine. It's not terrible. We know their only card in hand is Thrun. Yeah, all right. I mean, their deck isn't that great. We like literally have their whole deck here, right? Because they have one card in hand? Alright. Like, there's no Crater Hoof, so that's good to not have to worry about that. I wish I could play... I wish I had another White Source that could come into play. So the other hand is just literally thrown. They could they could draw four here, be fine, be pretty good actually. Four, five, six. We take eight. Yep, and that's what they did. But like looking at their deck, they don't have anything that can really like kill us right now. Sure. Really. I mean, the sad thing is we can't do anything here, so we just kind of die. Oh, boy. So even if we go block, block, we take three, four, five, six. Yep, untap land would have been... Yeah, we just need more fetches. Like, fetches being able to get something like this. Like, if this was in play, we could easily play this. But, I mean, I guess we, could, we don't even have second white for this to make, like, three blockers. Yep. I mean, the only reason they won this game was because of Plow Under. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't think they'd even be close. Like, we'd have seven lands in play right now. We could wipe the board. But, uh, yeah. I mean, like I said, the lands coming to play tapped were going to have an effect on us. We've got Night of Autumn bringing Kitchen Finks. Bring... And they have Rex Sage and Acidic Slime, so that's kind of rough against both of these. But I can't take them out, unfortunately. Bring in Shivan Fire. And they might have an answer for Tide Hollow Sculler. No, they do. They literally. Yeah, I can actually see taking Bribery out. Like, I mean, Thrag Tusk is great, but if they had, like, I was looking for, like, Avenger of Zendikar. This is what I mean. Like, I don't think Bribery is that great in this cube because it's mostly mid range things. And it's not decks with, like, Blightsteel Colossus, or Progenitus, or, you know, Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunk. No, Infinite Gyre. You know, and it's just... It just doesn't... The, deck, the, the format just doesn't have the same number of big, fat threats. Um, So, looking at their deck, I don't think there's that many Pyroclasm targets. Like, Devoted Druid, Lana War Elves... An arbor elf and gilded gilded goose is kind of it like most of the the creatures that they had were like three power that we care about yeah we'll keep this hand i mean our deck is pretty terrible against we don't have a green source which is sad because we have two green cards our deck is pretty bad against plow under but 
I mean, we can't just like. Okay. Um, let's give us a black source. So does this. See, like, you're, like... Actually, Pyroclasm might just be better than Shiv and Fire, to be honest with you. I, I actually think it's... I think that was probably a misplay on my part. Pyroclasm is just a better Shiv and Fire. Like, next turn, if we had Shiv... If we had Pyroclasm instead, we'd kill both of these guys. So I think it's a, this is a situation where Kerr was correct. Although he did add a second Y to Pyroclasm, so... I still feel like... It's a moral victory for me. Um... I think it's more important to kill this, even if they do just drop a Lovestruck Beast next turn. We still have Maelstrom Pulse to hopefully find a green for. We can also just make infinite blockers with Xenagos. No, we don't. We don't have green yet. Sure. Seems good. So many adventures. So adventurous. Oh, that's actually perfect. So we do have white. Yeah, that's actually fantastic. Wow, that was very good. So now we can just drop Xenagos, start making guys. Next turn we can... Atris? I don't actually think we're even attacking here. I'd rather just keep Xenagos higher. Like, Xenagos going to 3 seems worse than dealing random 2 damage. Here comes the Civic Slime. They're just trying to figure out what their target is. It's probably Triome, right? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, boy. Always a pleasure, dude. Always a pleasure. We actually could have played this plus Xenagos make the other guy, but I think this is... I think just making another dude is pretty good for us. Because now we can Xenagos and... Five again, huh? Acidic Slime? Beast Whisper. Sure. So, yeah. Again, we have four, five, six mana. I'm kind of tempted to just Maelstrom Pulse this guy. Make another guy. Did I not add a green? I'm really bad at adding green. Green, black, this guy. Pulse it. Create a 2-2. Two, two. Get in there with two dudes. Like, next turn we can actually make the mana with this to Atrus and then blink Atrus almost immediately, which I think is pretty fine. Sure. I have not seen the Lodge. This is one, two, three with Xenagos, one, two, three, four, five, so it's eight total. And we definitely have blue, black, white. So sure. Good old Gary. Otherwise known as Grookey. Oh, I like Tefri here. That, that might even be better. Interesting. Hmm. I feel like that's actually pretty good. 
So blue, white, this. I mean, Teferi's a real jerk, so. Uh, Gary, Gary, and Gary. Man, if, if we win this game, if they could not plow under us in game three, that'd be great. That'd be great, I'm going. Because I think we're just winning this game right now. I mean, they can play either one of these, and they have two cards, but we have a lot going on. You got it. Two big beefy boys. All right. Well, we can plus four, make a million mana. So four, this requires three, so we can try to keep up these two. This will be the white, red, blue, and this is blue, black. Yeah, let's do that. Red, red, green, red. <laughs> sure. Um, play Atris with a black and a blue. Tristani versus I might just take the Tristani actually god what could be worse than what can be the other pile I'm taking Tristani oh man Niv Mizzet Niv Mizuti give me that booty yep alright activated both of these dudes Also, blinking the Tristani or the Atris is a nice feature. <sighs> like, we didn't see Crater Hub, right? We saw their whole deck. Five, seven mana. Looking at their deck... This is just Beanstalk Giant. Yeah, like that's the only thing they have for seven. See, and this is the situation like the green decks get into. When you don't have Crater Hoof, you just have nothing to really push through with. Hmm. I mean, Atrus can get through, but they can just block with 6655, five, so it doesn't really do much. Um, one, two, three, activate. I'm really torn between is it charming and discarding Wildwood? Can you put any number of creature or lands from among them on the battlefield? Um. Oh my god, Trump and First Lady Melania have test positive for COVID. <sighs> Holy shit.
That's insane. I mean, I don't know. Maybe don't source Neon Tokyo Rain. Google it. <laughs> uh, it's it's on CNN. It's on the Associated Press. It's on NBC. Like Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera even has like. I mean, it's 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 pretty much. Um, <laughs> fucking idiot. I want to host rallies during COVID. Fucking moron. That's insane. Oh my god, dude. I'm like blown away by that. I'm actually like, that's, that's fucking wild. Democratic Democratic hoax is coming to get you now. You fucking idiot. I'm just so blown away. Like, I'm like... This is like the epitome of well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. <sighs> so furious. I just don't think we can attack with anyone here. I think we just keep making... Go Actually... How much mana do we even have? I don't even know, man. Like, we can make a million mana with this guy. Let's see what we can hit here, because we have a lot of mana. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have ten mana. I just wanted to do something. And we still get to keep up Is It Charm, so that's fine. Aurelia or the other two? I'm going to take the other two. Two lands. Okay. Play a Wildwood. Actually, let's... Oh! <laughs> Discard two. You get rid of lands. Play this Karanos. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep, alright. So I think we're in commanding position here. All I can think is Trump making fun of Biden at the at the debate about how frequently Biden wears a mask. You're just wearing it all the time. You're wearing a mask all the time. And 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 now, <laughs> now you have it. It's like holy fucking shit. These people are so stupid. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I'm like I'm like I'm like flabbergasted right now. Well, I mean, apparently, according to the news, Hope Hicks, which is a senior Trump advisor who tested positive. So. I'm fucking real. I'm just, like, blown away. What did they get back? Garrick? Okay. I don't think we have anything to do, so. Oh my god, being able to attack with this and then bounce. <sighs> oh boy, that's pretty good. So one, two, three, activate. Blue. We don't have a second. We have blue, blue, black, any other color. We don't we need a third black here, unfortunately, so we're just gonna. Gonna, oh fuck, why did I play land? I'm dumb. 
None of these guys have reach, right? Okay. We do have to close this game out. Um, and, and, green. Bounce the resto. Bouncing resto is pretty bananas because then we just get to blink something else. It's going to be land. One of them is definitely land. Yep. That is unfortunate. Make a plant. Uh, plus this guy. I just want to be able to marshal coup for like a million. I don't really care about spending this mana. Actually, do I just cultivate here? I only have 16 cards. Yeah, I'm going to cultivate. Like they're at 8. We have Karanos on board. Sure. Get a, another swamp, which we need, and probably a plains. Let's make sure we use everything. Yes, yes, yes. And also, I mean, probably could have actually alpha there. If they block the biggest things, which is like this guy and three of four of these guys, they take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they probably would have been dead. Acknowledge lethal. My iPad's like, hey man, there's a news notification. <laughs> oh, well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Swag Bay is pretty good. I know you get this a lot. I actually don't get that a lot. My schedule, okay, so Jinx, my schedule is usually, I try to start around 2 p.m. Mountain Time, MDT. But, like, sometimes I just, it's really, sometimes it's hard for me to get motivated. I, I don't, I don't know really how to explain it other than, like, just the feeling I get, right? So sometimes I stream later at night. So around like 10 p.m. MDT. One, two. Let's just finish this game next turn. I don't have the time. We're going to blink Tristani here because we want the extra tokens. And we're going to lightning bolt their face. And we're gonna make a guy. And we're gonna activate this guy. And we're gonna activate the other guy. Uh, actually, we'll activate the, the other guy. One, two, three, four. This guy. And we're gonna bounce this idiot. You get to use it again? I don't care. And we're going to put a counter on all our things. And then we're going to kill you. Negative 54. That's pretty good. Did you say until about 10? Oh, no, I said, no, I started around 2 Mountain Time. Uh, sometimes I don't feel it. Sometimes I'm just like, I can't motivate myself. And I'm just like in a, in a funk, I guess. So then I start around 10 if, I, if I'm if i going to stream that day. So usually, typically, I try to start about 10. Because that's like when Katie goes to bed. Uh, mountain Time, PM. Or I start around... Um, 2 p.m. Mountain Time. I 
And we also have two board wipes. We have Find Finality and Martial Coup. I feel like we should be in good shape here. seems good so we can play these two on turn one hopefully you don't have the stupid card again man I can't even roast that thing it's, I can't even roast goose that's wild that's a wild goose chase okay so this is actually a turn four dream trawler if they don't have uh, like relic guy relic sage oh my god if i can just draw a pyroclasm that would be amazing lucky, 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 lucky. sometimes it is literally your day when they did not hit a land drop wow wow dude dude that's amazing oh boy they can still have it I probably did overcook the goose. All right, we just won the game. <laughs> Magic is a good game. I didn't even get to play my Dream Trawler, man. All good games and a and a sad face. We know how it goes, man. Yeah, next turn Dream Trawler against the green deck is a good game, so you can't race that, dude. This is wild, dude. I, I'm like still blown away by it, man. <laughs> okay. Um, if we can hit one land, this hand is actually the tits. And we have a good chance of doing it. Well, that's not the one we're looking for. Um, yeah, Mountain's fine. Mountain's nice because if we get a blue source that comes into play on tap, like Sulphur Falls, we get the Is it Charm and kill this idiot. <gasps> or a Rootbound Crag that comes into play untapped. Still can't do anything with it, but it's still nice to have. Because now we get to Lantern. What I missed that's so wild. Breaking Presence Hall Drums as he tests for. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, man. That's it.
J Link. What up, my dude? Oh boy. Fucking, we're just bringing in Pyroclasm in the main deck here, man. This is wild. Yikes. I mean, we're going to get a hit here. This is the best we can do, right? Clothis doesn't do anything, so. I guess we could cultivate, but it's just. They both ramp us by one. This is just better for our. I guess next turn we could play Niv, Niv Minusi. Taking a hit. What are you taking? Oh, that's fine. That's the one I cared about the least. Although I still don't have great plays here. I guess I, I guess we kind of want to charm this thing. Play tar pit. I think it's just better. Next time we can niv miz it. They're gonna attack us. They can attack us for one, two, three, four, five, six. We can go to six. We can Dragon Lord Selimgar still two two, I guess. Or we just take three, which is also fine. They can't obliterate us, that's nice. Eh, messenger. It's obnoxious, but not the worst. And blue, white, black, green, Mizuti, give me that booty. Again, tap lanes are pretty pretty hurtful to us. Yeah, Dream Troll reminds me of Aetherling too. Like they're both very, very good. Being able to attack with this, bounce it with Shinobi, and still lightning helix your guy seems pretty bananas. Ugh, fucking Christ. Well, we're at two. None of our lands come into play untapped, unfortunately. Yikes. So we can't Lightning Helix and Trostani, awkwardly enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. This puts three bodies down, which is decent. might just need the bodies right i don't know like it, we go to five and we kill this guy then we block this guy we take three four five yeah i think it has to be tristani here like our hits would have to be amazing god i wish a land came in and play untapped that's so frustrating Because this is four blockers, and we gain four. So, sure. Ugh. I don't think it's going to... I think we're dead. They only have three cards. They could just attack with Messenger. Actually, we just block with Tristani if they do that, so... They could also kill Tristani. Take a lightning helix. That's pretty good. All of this is fine. I mean, if they don't block, we get to fall in Shinobi. If they do block, we get to bounce. 
or we get our lightning helix back so Uh, one, two, three. I guess we actually have to pay the colors. We can't just go black. This one and tar pit. Bounce. Even a land here I'm okay with. Maybe. Oh, Karn seems fantastic. Why was I okay with land? Oh, because let's just activate one of these, I guess. Yeah, let's Karn. Can't play this next turn, so we might as well just play it now. And we have four blockers. I guess we could also get rid of the Kite Sail Freebooter and then Lightning Helix, like the Crypt Breaker, go to five. I think that seems good. I'm not doing the math here. I'm just trying to assume this is going to work. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can play Niv and Clothis. They have three blockers, so we go to we take four, but then we also gain a bunch. They also have four cards, so I don't know. The game's a lot closer than it was. Ooh, Bloodgast is a nice discard. Jeez. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Three dudes. One, has, one of these cards has to be a land, right? No, we're just going straight to combat. That's fascinating. Hmm. Chump block it is. Go to seven. Feeling good about that. Dark Confidant. Oh, Maelstrom Pulse on these zombies is nice. Interesting. Swiggity, swiggity, swooty. Let me see that booty. I'm really tempted to like... Exile this with Karn. Maelstrom on these. It gives them these three guys. Then we can attack with you and you have to block with one of these two. And now we're at seven, so we're actually pretty healthy. Six, seven. So we have eight. I think we're I think we're just Niv Mizzing. Like Niv Miz without Niv Mizzing, we only have the option to do these two. I think we're just Niv. Don't ask to see the booty. Hey buddy. Okay. Uh oof. Oof, Teferi though. Oof. Well, we're not going to Teferi, and Dream Trawler's just bananas next turn, so... Oh, this is a good... Jesus, every hit is so good. We also try to keep Karn alive and not care about the stupid Grey Merchant. Let's go green, black, this guy, get rid of you, exile you... 
And now you just have to chump block, right? Sure. So they draw a card, but then they can discard a card, so... Hangerback Walker, so they took zero. That's unfortunate. Whip is pretty good. I have a Knight of Autumn in my hand, so I'm not too concerned with that. Pretty easy chump block here. I have a Dream Trawler. So all of your all of your, your lands are belong to us. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm just kind of trying to bridge the gap here. Get that thing out of here. Um white white blue blue this guy this guy play a fumarole oh should not have played a fumarole but that's okay swiggity swiggity swooty kill you with that booty two lands yep i'm stupid i think we're still completely fine man this is a hell of a recovery Kalidus. Okay. They took four? Jesus. Okay. Are they just dead? Yep. That was cool. Pyroclasm again. MVP. We hope. Bribery. I guess we can get Kalidus. We can get Grey Merchant. I don't care about bribery that much. See what I mean? Our game time bribery is just kind of like, eh. I also think I like Murderous Redcap more than Aurelia because it kills a dude. I mean, Shivan Fire is also probably pretty good, right? They have a bunch of small dudes like Bob, Crypt Breaker. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Got lightning helix. Y'all got any of them lightning helixes? Oh, a clifftop retreat. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's Godless Shrine because then we can clifftop retreat if we have to play um, lightning helix. Yeah, I don't care about that thing. Eh, we'll just play this now. Interesting. Okay, so now we're actually really good because both of these are going to come and play untapped. So, I guess we should have went cliff top just because we can keep the lightning helix up. Yeah, that was stupid, man. I mean, I'd really rather not race, ra waste Lightning Helix on either one of these. Vampire Hex Mage, we don't get the mana. Or the, the life. But also, like, they're probably just going to play something that we do want a Lightning Helix. It's going to be Rotting Regisaur. Shit. That guy's harder to deal with. Poof. Okay, well. Yeah, I think Lightning Helix last turn would be better. We beat it at... Well... We wouldn't have gained the life. We'd prevented two, so we'd be at 16.
didn't he just say at one of his stupid fucking rallies that basically no one has it basically no one is getting it I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he just fucking said that like basically no one has it we'll go to five here Tristani actually puts a good amount of recovery on the board especially if they don't have a fourth land here Oh, dude, I said that. I was like, dude, he's... I remember when he mocked Biden for how much Biden wore a mask at the debate. Jesus. Talk about actual human garbage. Not gonna attack here. Just wanna not die to land into Grey Merchant. So they have to draw it here and land. They have to have land their hand has to be land a great merchant. We have the lowest number of cases in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Shriek Maw's good. But none of these cards I care about. Especially if I get to drop Dreamy Boy. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. So we're gaining two, but we're also taking. Sure, this is fine. We could cultivate Lightning Helix, try to chump block here. They have to discard their last card, so they're pretty much in top deck mode. And then we get to Martial Coup next turn. I'd rather do that and have Dream Trawler post Martial Coup. So we want these two. So we can go one, two, three. Blue, blue. Green, green. Definitely want a black. White, 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 white. Probably in another... Green? Red? Yeah, I'll say red. Put the black on the board. Play the red. No, we did that. Okay. I have to discard their last card. So, sure. They're in top deck mode. We chump lock. We marshal coup for like seven and stay at six. Yeah, that seems really good. One, two, three. Oh, we marshal coup for eight here. And then we get to dream trawler next turn. Yeah, that seems insane. I mean, unless they have like land, land. Oh, they're just dead. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my god, the Curb Your Enthusiasm music would be amazing. Here's a solid tweet that Chris just sent me. Hydro Hydroxychloroquine, stand back and stand by. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. It's just... It's just too much, man. Yeah, Chris, it was on my soundboard. I literally had it on there. And I loved it. And one day, I got a friggin' copyright strike on YouTube. And I was like... Well, I guess that's over with. Um, this game's actually pretty good. Triome lets Rootbound Crag and Clifftop come into play untapped. Yeah, let's leave with that thing. 
And then we can go Needle Spires into these two if we really want to. What if they play something scary? Do we want to just Copper Line Gorge it here? No. We'll take a risk. I do have no nerds in hand. You're right. We got We get Is a Charm. Oh, they didn't play anything. Nice. Nice. Dude. Do we think they're going to get rid of this? I don't think so. God. Rewarded. Oh, good. Your favorite and mine. All right. Well, let's play Craggy. Two, three. Back again. We do get to keep Izzet Charm up, but we actually don't get to keep it up because of Tarifi. Which kind of like Rafiki. Oh my god, someone said his own fault for getting tested in the first place. If he didn't get tested, he wouldn't have it. The only reason he has it is because we do so many tests. That's friggin' hilarious. Oh good. I would love to counter that. But Teferi is a cool card. Yep. Yep. I mean, we get to still bribery them, I guess, which is kind of cool. Let's see what you got. Oh. Oh, I love a Glorybringer here. Uh, attack a Johnny Vengeant. Because otherwise you just keep it tamped down. They have seven cards in hand. Yep. I mean, if they want to bounce this, they can, like, we can still Needle Spire as their Teferi, so that's pretty much okay with me. Uh, one, two, yeah, we can still, is it Charm and Needle Spire as their Teferi? Which I think we definitely have to, you have, do you have Haste? Why don't you have haste? Get your life together. Two, three, four, activate. Yeah, all right. Two damage to a creature. This guy, red, blue. Uh, activate one, two, three, four. Get your stupid Teferi out of here. All right, so now we're at parity again. I have two more lands, you have two more cards. Okay. Sure. Hope you don't have spell pierce. You did not. Oh, we should have taken a better look at their deck. That was our bad. I was just so eager to, to get it resolved. Yep, that guy's very good. That is not as good. One, two, three, four. What does it do? At the beginning of combat, it chooses up to one creature. Until the end of the creature is plus two. Gains tremble, it's red, gains vigilance if it's white. Okay, so we can deal five here. I'm not sure if that's worth it. I think I'd rather just pass. I guess we could have activated this. Oh, that would have been bananas. Yep, that would have been a better play. 
I was I was too concerned with keeping Resto up, but Resto can't even blink it Aurelia, so that's a punt. They have six cards. If they wipe the board, it's pretty good. I just think Eagle Spires though. Guys, it's been five minutes since anyone said anything in chat, and it's, it's really weirding me out. Golden Goose! Welcome back, buddy. Thanks so much for the resub. Hope you were doing well, my dude. Um, sure. That's not a... That's not a board wipe at all. Oh, jeez. Oh, I could have activated this and blocked? That would have been good, too. Dang, I'm, like, losing here. I think I'm just really distracted by this whole COVID thing. Like, I'm pretty, pretty wild, man. So, one, two, three, four. Activate you. Go into combat. Alright, well, that was pretty good. That was 10. And we can still activate again if we really need to. I think it might be better to put the counter on... Like, we could... Actually, it should have been better to... If we actually targeted Aurelia, we could have mentored onto this, make it a 3. She would have gotten Vigilance. Yep, this would have been better. Now that we've seen Nahiri for sure. But we do have enough mana to activate both Wandering Fumeral and Needle Spires. Okay. Let's be like Niv Mizzet. Just something good. That's pretty good, actually. It's not bad. Not that one. That one. Yep. <sighs> Infinite counters. All right. Actually not terrible if it resolves. It resolved. Hmm. We're gonna activate this too, but like. It's got like random removal spell. <laughs> oh lord. Love it. Yep. I mean, I don't know how we're winning this game other than like milling them out, but. Yeah. 
again, as you can see, planeswalkers. I mean, I guess we still have haymakers, but I find it hard to believe. Uh, black, blue, one, two, Atris. Cryptic command resolves. Fascinating. So we're going to get the clearly the best card out of this lot. Unless it's three lands. Could be three lands. That seems likely. Hmm. Okay. Well, Yeah, someone commented and said the 14-day quarantine means the next debate is off the table, and that's really interesting. It makes me... That's the only thing where I'm like... Is this bullshit? Are they making it up? Are they, like, making it up in order to, like, avoid the debate? And then at the end of the... Like, they're like, oh, he's miraculously healed. He's fine, you know? Like... I still like them them being standard. Cause like I think standard's miserable right now. I don't even think you need to have like jank decks. I think you just need to have a, a metagame that you can have more than one one strategy. Oh, I still like the Nathan if I don't Oh, thank you so much. Selena Gomez Prime, I really appreciate that. Thank you for saying so. That was a concern of mine where I was like, I don't know if people even like like I'm not right about decks. I always think people are gonna be like, keep talking about stupid decks, dummy. Like, that's my, like... Uh, sure. Yeah, that's fine. You got it. He's like, now you cannot activate the target. Um... One... This is fine. Oh, oh, Billy Biscuits. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get dreamy. Oh, never mind. You got counters. Just kidding. Sure, make a copy of your Galar Bringer. Yep, don't care. Actually done. Let's do a duress. I don't think Roast hits anything in their entire deck. Let's do... Mm, are you any good? Probably, you're just fine. I kind of like Gem Razor. I don't think we have a ton of targets for it to be put on, though, is a problem. Find finality getting back two cards is actually fine. I mean, we just can't beat a torrential gearhook on the board, and like that's all it comes down to. And if we attack with needle spires instead, like they just kill that. So, yep, I will keep this hand. If this is a coalition relic, we could play Dream Trawler on four, but.
Okay. Make articles about decks and play jazz for us, clown. <laughs> That's how I feel. Ooh. Oh man, Xenagos tokens with Fallen Shinobi? Now we're talking. You count this? Oh, not my beautiful mana base. Oh, you've hurt me. My mana base is good enough that I don't even give a, sh I don't give a shit. You understand? I don't even care. Let's see if they got disallowed too here. Oh, they're going to Vendillion click us. Cool story, bro. Is it just me or are they really upping how many powerful cards they get? But this is... I don't think they're upping it. I think they just make like four cards in every set that are just head and shoulders above everything else. And you're like, oh wow, I can't play anything but these cards. What did he take? Fallen Shinobi? Wow. That's pretty cool. So I get to Dreamy Boy next turn and... Hope you don't have a counter. They killed Kenny. We're currently 2-0 and down a game. So about about correct for our for our stats. Oh, they missed a land drop, so they 100 percent have disallow in hand, right? Whew. Give me that Niv Mizuti booty. So we have blue, 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 white, white. And we'll just say another white, I guess. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Mm, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This guy's going straight into the garbage can, I'm sure. Yep, never fails. But I'd rather have Niv Mizzet resolve. Not to say he will, but you know, if I have the chance, the choice, it seems good. You got it. So now we do get to resolve Niv Mizuti. And then they get to show me that booty. Or we can bribery and kill it and this. That seems better. Let's do that. Blue. Two, three, four, five. Bravario. See you later. Oh, you're talking about Niv Mizuti? That's his name. I don't know what would I don't even know what else I'd call him, you know? Blade Splicer. Buddy. That ain't gonna do it. They have two cards. See, I feel like this game we're doing significantly better. I also feel like our deck is configured in such a way that like it's impossible to whiff with Niv. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, six, seven. We have eight mana. So if we draw a three drop, it's pretty good. We can also go Well, now we can go Xenagos. Let's add a black. So what if we go one, two, three, add a red. It's a land. One, two, three, and then we have what? Let's let's make sure we can do it. Red, blue, black, white. Add the mana. I'll add a green. And I gotta go blue and red and black and white. Yep, I'm a fan. Zooty. Oh, 
Oh, we win that game. Got him. Just gotta, just gotta grind him down, you know. Just gotta, gotta keep grinding him, grind it out. <laughs> We've resolved what we had mana of. It was so tense for me. I hear you, bro. I hear you. I almost kind of like Murderous Redcap because it shoots Planeswalkers. And, like, it can kill a Teferi. And I think it might just be better than Tristani because you do have Bribery and Dragonlord. So I'm going to bring in Murderous Redcap. I also don't mind Kitchen Finks just because it's kind of resilient. And we can blink it. Or we can hit it. I might like it better than Cultivate. I think increasing our threats is good. Because, like, we have Chromatic Lantern and Coalition Relic and Clothis, which should add mana. Actually, I don't know how many fetches they have. Um, I'm pretty much any any hand with a, a Chromatic Lantern is a keeper, in my opinion. I mean, assuming it has lands to cast it and two Triumphs is pretty nice, so... Swiggity, swiggity, swoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-dee. Show me that boo-boo-boo-booty. Oh, that's interesting. Play this first, because, like, it's almost the same as this except for the blue, but we already have a blue, and uh, we might just want to cycle this at some point. Oh, I like a duress here. Interesting. What if we go Lantern? I don't think they'll counter this. They might. Fucking amazing. That's that's hilarious. But next time we do get to go... Oh, we don't have a second blue now. Man, now I'm regretting not playing this. Because we have to use our black for the blue, which is sad. I think our hand is very good here. Like, if they don't take the rest, they leave Teferi. Okay. What did they take? Niv Mizzet. Shoot. Pyroclasm and Forsake? Uh, you don't have a second red. Champion of Wits is decent. I don't think I care about Pyroclasm at all. We boarded out the things we care about. At least that's another card. Also, Glorringer can't hit Aurelia, so I'm not too concerned with that. That guy's gone. I bet they're discarding Pyroclasm. That seems like an easy choice. Do 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 do. Oh, they discarded both of the cards we know about. That's fascinating. So they got four cards again. Shut up and take my money. I guess they already had four cards. I don't know. Niv Mizuti, show me that booty buck. <laughs> you guys, I'm I'm such a fan of all of you. You're too pure for this world, friends. So we definitely lead with Teferi, right? And then we if they counter it. Um, blue, green. This guy. Oh, let's go to blue out of this guy. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Sure. 
Clothis seems pretty bananas here. Yeah, that's really good. No lands in either graveyard, so we're just going to eat his things over six turns. Eight turns. Four turns. Neon Tokyo Rain, you getting out of here, buddy? Oh, definitely Foxy is leaving. Have a good night, buddy. Oh, they're just looting here? That's a three for two. That's no good. No, no, I'm staying. <laughs> okay, take it easy. Take it easy. I'll take two. Is this really Wrath of God? You didn't do anything. Okay. What do we what do we want to eat because we don't want you to get it back? Probably disallow. Swiggity swiggity swooty. Let me get that booty. They have one card. Okay. I think it's just Gear Hulk here. Get back Lightning Helix. Sure. I don't care about this thing. Oh my god, we 3 owed. Thank you guys for watching. I love all of you. Appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. If you're looking for a great internet security solution, check out NordVPN.org. We're going to open this pack here. Uh, this treasure chest. Check out NordVPN.org slash Frank Lepore. You can get 68% off. Uh, your, your, a two-year subscription along with one month free. Open all of these. I don't know what these are. These are never anything great, right? Firewheeler. Razorfin Hunter. Sterling Grove. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, uh, an Urza's Mine. And a Hydroid Crassus. Does Hydroid Crassus go for anything? What does that thing go for? Either way, thank you guys for watching. Check out manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service. You can get 15% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. And I'll see you next time.